नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं शिवानंद उपाध्याय आपका स्वागत करता हूं हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल केमिस्ट्री एकेडमी फॉर आई टी जेई एंड नीट आज का विषय बहुत रोचक है टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वाई इंट्रॉपी इज अ स्टेट वेरिएबल एंड वाई वी कैन नॉट अप्लाई क्यू ए रिवर्सेबल अपॉन टी टू कैलकुलेट इंट्रॉपी चेंज ड्यूरिंग अ प्रोसेस और इसका कारण है कि हमने कैसे इंट्रॉपी को डिराइव किया इंट्रॉपी इज डिराइव फ्रॉम कार्नोट साइकिल सो लेट्स गो थ्रू कार्नोट साइकिल कार्नोट साइकिल इज अ साइक्लिक प्रोसेस यूज बाय हीट इंजन बिफोर कार्नोट साइकिल देर आर थाउजेंड टाइप ऑफ साइक्लिक प्रोसेस यूज फॉर हीट इंजन बट कार्नोट इज द बेस्ट वन सो कार्नोट साइक्लिक प्रोसेस हैज द बेस्ट एफिशिएंसी सो व्हाट वी डू इन दिस प्रोसेस वी हैव अ बॉडी व्हिच इज नोन एज सोर्स व्हिच इज एट हायर टेम्परेचर टी एंड देर इज अनदर बॉडी व्हिच इज नोन एज सिंक व्हिच इज एट लोअर टेम्परेचर टी थ्रू अ मीडियम वी सप्लाई हीट एनर्जी फ्रॉम टी टू टी so when the heat energy will pass through this heat engine this heat engine will convert some part of the heat energy to work energy and some part of the heat energy is rejected by the heat engine to the sink so if we apply law of conservation of energy for this heat engine q1 is the heat supplied to the heat engine so it will be positive q2 is heat rejected by the engine so it will be negative and w is the work done by the heat engine in the cyclic process so work is done by the system so it is negative so sum of all these three is equal to 0 according to law of conservation of energy and from here we can find out what is the magnitude of work done in the cyclic process which is equal to q1 plus q2 where q1 is positive and q2 is negative so if we are talking about practical efficiency practical efficiency of heat engine is equal to magnitude of work done in cyclic process divided by heat supplied so if we put the value of magnitude of work done by the heat engine that is equal to q1 plus q2 and heat supplied is q1 so from there we can derive the formula that practical efficiency of heat engine is equal to 1 plus q2 upon q1 which is less than 1 because q2 is negative and q1 is positive this heat engine contains uh an ideal gas in practical it can be diesel petrol but we don't know the equation and properties of diesel petrol so that's why we are assuming that in this heat engine the fuel is ideal gas so this ideal gas is participating in a cyclic process it is moving from a position to b position then b to c then c to d and d to a so a to b is an isothermal reversible expansion b to c is adiabatic reversible expansion c to d is isothermal reversible compression and d2a is adiabatic reversible compression so this whole thing is working on cylinder piston system so the piston is first moving from a to b in isothermal process then it is moving from b to c in adiabatic process and then it is compressed from c to d by isothermal process and finally from d to a by adiabatic compression so in this cyclic process we can prove that vb upon va is equal to vc upon vd so in order to prove this we can take the process bc in process bc since the ideal gas is participating in adiabatic reversible process so we can apply the formula tv to the power gamma minus 1 so using that formula we can write that temperature at point b multiplied by volume at point b to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to temperature at point c multiplied by volume at point c to the power gamma minus 1 so uh, resolving this we can write that vb upon vc is equal to t2 upon t1 1 upon gamma minus 1 same way from d to a d to a processes adiabatic reversible compression so for d to a also we can apply this equation tv gamma minus 1 is equal to constant and from there we can write that td into vd to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to ta into va to the power gamma minus 1 and on putting the value of temperature at point d point and temperature at point a point we can prove that t2 upon t1 to the power 1 upon gamma minus 1 is equal to va upon vd and from comparing these two we can say that vb upon vc is equal to va upon vd or vb upon va is equal to vc upon vd we have proved this because we have to use this relation while deriving the theoretical efficiency of this ideal gas participating in the carnot cycle the Th theoretical efficiency which is equal to the magnitude of work done in cyclic process by the ideal gas divided by heat supplied to the ideal gas during the cyclic process so theoretical efficiency is magnitude of work done divided by heat supplied 
if we want to calculate what is the work done by the ideal gas in the cyclic process that should be the sum of work done in process a b plus b c plus c d plus d a. So, the work done in process b to c because b to c is an adiabatic process so q will be 0. So, work done is equal to delta u. So, work done in process b c is equal to n c v t 2 minus t 1 because the temperature at point c is t 2 and temperature at point b is t 1. So, n c v t 2 minus t 1 same way for adiabatic compression in process d 2 a we can write work done is equal to change in internal energy which is equal to n c v t final t final is t 1 and t initial is t 2. So, if we add the work done in process b c and work done in process d a it will be 0. So, the work done in process b 2 c and work done in process d 2 a b 2 c is negative work done and d 2 a is positive and their magnitude is equal. So, if we add the net work done will be 0. So, the overall work done in this cyclic process is because of work done in process a to b and because of work done in process c to d. So, work done in cyclic process is equal to work done in process a to b it is an isothermal reversible process. So, work done is minus n r t ln v 2 upon v 1. So, if we put the value minus n r t 1 ln v b upon v a same way work done in process c to d it is isothermal reversible compression. So, the work done is minus n r t ln v 2 upon v 1. So, if we put the value it is minus n r t 2 ln v d upon v c. Now, we have proved that v b upon v a is equal to v c upon v d. So, if we simplify we can write that work done in this cyclic process is equal to minus n r t 1 ln v b upon v a plus n r t 2 ln v b upon v a. So, from here we can write that work done in cyclic process is equal to n r ln v b upon v a into t 2 minus t 1 which is negative. So, the magnitude of work done in cyclic process will be n r ln v b upon v a into t 2 minus t 1. So, in order to calculate efficiency heat supplied during the cyclic process is equal to heat supplied in isothermal expansion because in isothermal compression heat is rejected by the system and there is no exchange of heat energy in adiabatic expansion and adiabatic compression. So, heat supplied during the cyclic process is equal to heat supplied in isothermal expansion. So, in isothermal expansion process from A to B heat supplied is equal to Q 1 which is equal to minus times of W 1 because there is no change in internal energy for an ideal gas participating in isothermal process. So, by, by using that we can write that Q 1 is equal to n r t 1 ln V b upon V a and if we put the value of heat supplied in the efficiency formula we can write that theoretical efficiency is equal to n r ln V b upon V a t 2 minus T 1 upon n r ln V b upon V a into T 1. So, if we simplify we are getting 1 minus T 2 upon T 1 where T 1 and T 2 are temperature in Kelvin T 2 is temperature of sink and T 1 is temperature of source. So, again we are getting that theoretical efficiency will be equal to 1 when T 2 is equal to 0, 0 Kelvin is not possible. So, from here we get the value of theoretical efficiency that is equal to 1 minus T 2 upon T 1 the heat engine will work reversibly then practical efficiency is equal to theoretical efficiency. So, practical efficiency is 1 plus q 2 upon q 1 and theoretical efficiency is equal to 1 minus t 2 upon t 1. So, if we simplify these from here we can write that q 1 upon t 1 plus q 2 upon t 2 is equal to 0. From there we got the idea q 1 upon t 1 plus q 2 upon t 2 from here we got from this we got an idea that we can define entropy which is a state variable because when we are moving in a cyclic process then that uh, q summation q i upon t i is equal to 0 and from there we we got an idea that entropy is equal to q reversible upon t which is a state variable. Now, we can check here that when we are moving from for the whole process I can write that summation q i upon t i for the whole cyclic process is equal to 0. When we are moving from a to b since we are writing d s as d q reversible upon t and the temperature in process a b is constant. So, we can put it out uh, of integration. So, if we integrate it we can write that entropy change in process a to b is equal to q 1 upon t 1 and that we will write because temperature is constant. For process b to c since it is adiabatic reversible process. So, e each and at each and every point d q is equal to 0. So, from there 
temperature is continuously changing denominator is continuously changing but the numerator is con continuously zero so from there we can say that summation qi upon ti is equal to zero same way for process c to d since it is isothermal process when we write ds as dq reversible upon t since temperature is constant we can put out of integration and from there we can write that is equal to q2 upon t2 and in the same way from d to a since it is adiabatic reversible compression each and every point dq is equal to 0 so from there we can say that summation qi upon ti is equal to 0 so this is a reversible process and throughout the process if we add summation qi upon ti then we are getting a value 0 and from there we get the idea that we can define a variable which should be a state variable because in cyclic process its change is equal to 0 and from there we got an idea that we can write entropy so change in entropy we can write that ds is equal to dq reversible upon t and this is the reason why we cannot use we should use q reversible upon t and we cannot use q irreversible upon t while calculating the entropy so the way by which entropy is defined there we are writing change in entropy is equal to dq reversible upon t right in the derivation we we are not writing it is q upon t right so we cannot use q irreversible upon t whenever the process is reversible or irreversible if we want to calculate entropy change we have to choose a path which is reversible and that's why while calculating entropy either the process is reversible or irreversible we have to use the formula dq reversible upon t so friends if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel 